hey, welcome to my channel. Today is Strongmas Day 21, and we're doing a Christmas collab with a bunch of really cool creators, including Becca Lynn Gaming, Donjela, My Pastel Past, Aaron Marquan, Amy Slays, April Honey, Gothrock Fairy, Jen Nookie, Shiver the Ninja, Talkie Plays, and Twilight Fairy X. If you want to check out the rest of the collabs, I will have everything linked down below in the description so you can click on everybody else's and go and watch all of their awesome videos and see all of their Christmas memories or Christmas builds that they built for this collab. But let's get into my Christmas video. I did a Christmas memory and I'm gonna start off real quick with a memory from my in real life. So to start out, I wanted to look at some baby pictures of Christmas and see how my Christmases were when I was a baby and a kid. I remember the big Christmas tree in the corner for sure. And I remember it always being a spectacular event, honestly. My parents never ever um, made us feel that we didn't have anything. Even though we didn't have a lot, I never felt that. So starting off with this build, I wanted to make an interior build for sure because I knew that that's kind of where my memories start as far as Christmas. We didn't decorate a lot outside. Um, I don't even know if we decorated at all. I can't remember to be honest, but I do remember inside. My parents always, always went and got the biggest tree. We always went down and cut out our own real tree and it was always just huge. Looking back, I don't know if it was always, maybe I was just really small, but um, it was always big. So I decided to use the biggest tree that we have in game. And at first I wanted to put all the presents around it. And cause basically that's kind of just how I feel when I think about Christmases as a child. My parents never made us feel like we were lacking even though times were tough. Um, I was raised, as you know, from my other collabs that I've done. Um, that I was raised as a pastor's daughter and pastors didn't make a lot of money. Um, so we didn't have a lot of stuff, but my parents never made us feel like we weren't getting anything for Christmas, which was always amazing now that I look back on it. Um, here I am grabbing some things from our Christmas party from the other day. I didn't do any Christmas decorating on my island at all this year, except for my Christmas party and this build. So I had to grab some things. So honestly, um, my parents, they they really went above and beyond for Christmas and it was always a very special memory that I've always held dear and close to my heart, truly. I love Christmas time and I feel like they just always made it a very special time. So thinking about all the Christmas memories that I had during this collab was really fun including these three little bears. One thing that my parents always did was get us our Christmas bears. Every year we would get a bear with our um, year on it, like the year of Christmas on it. And I cherished these bears. You guys know I love my teddy bears. So they were my favorite thing ever. I loved getting them. I actually still have one of them. It's sitting in my background right now of my videos, my 1997 teddy bear. It's the only one I have left. The rest of them have sadly disappeared over the years um, through moving, but I definitely loved the bears tradition. We always had our big, big bears that were always at the tree. And then of course you needed cookies and milk for Santa. And there were always toys and mobiles and lots of things. My mom, my mom had a piano. It was not a baby grand like the one in, <laughs> in the video. Um, but my mom had a piano and we would always sing and we still do this to this day and we get together and we're going to do that this year. My parents live in Florida and I don't get to see them very often. So when we do get to see them on Christmas, it's, it's pretty special. And so I'm excited to see them this year for Christmas and we are already planning on doing a whole little fun singing. We get around the piano and my mom plays and... Wow, I'm about to cry over thinking about this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just play the piano and sing. <laughs> we're gonna talk about, you know, memories. Um, I'm placing a candle. I don't know why I'm about to cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so wow, I don't know what happened there, but I'm back. I had to take a second to collect my thoughts apparently. 
Um, this is, this is honestly, this is a very basic build. I didn't do anything special. Um, basically, I just thought about my childhood and the things that brought me joy growing up was the big tree. I had to put a boom box because I think in one of the pictures I was actually opening a boom box um, for Christmas. And if you are too young to know what that is, it's a old school stereo and we used to carry it around and call it a boom box. I don't know. Um, my, my family did not have any fancy furniture like this at all, but I thought it looked really nice and I've always wanted to use this furniture with Christmas things. So I went ahead and did it because I thought it was pretty, but honestly, you guys have seen this kind of build a gajillion times and here it is the final build. It was simple. It's got the wood effect that I remember. It's got the old school stereos and the sewing machine like my mom had. It's got the piano. Um, everything's a little upgraded, but it still makes me think about things that we did as a child. At Christmas, it's got candles as I was looking through pictures um, from like Christmas dinners and things like that. I noticed that my mom always had a display on the table with candles. So I wanted to make sure I included a candle. It's got the teddy bears that we always had. It's got the giant tree and the stocking. We always had those. All in all, I think this turned out really cute and it definitely does remind me of growing up and waking up for Christmas morning, being so excited to see all the gifts and the toys and the big things under the um, underneath the tree from Santa and just just feeling so loved and excited and blessed. And now that I look back at it, I'm just so thankful for my parents and what they did for us. Anyway, that's the collab. And I hope you guys go visit our other friends that did a creation. Check the description down below for their links. Thank you so much for sitting through my emotional journey. And thank you for watching Strong Miss Day 21. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow for Strong Miss Day 22. Thanks for watching. Bye.